Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. You can't hear Donut right now, but she is here with me. And she's gonna play Ace Attorney. Yay, yay. What do you mean, no, you're not? <laughs> well, you will be. Soon. I'm just, I'm ghost gaming for you. <laughs> ghost gaming? Well, they, they hear you now. I hope so. <laughs> uh, Terry, do you hear Donut on stream? Please double check with me. You don't hear me. I am a ghost. No. Ghost gaming. No ghost gaming. <laughs> do you do you hear? Okay. Thank you. No, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. 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 Look. There we go. Look at that. Wow, it's nazzy. It's time. It's your time to shine. You can hear donuts and I and the music oh. as well. Nice. Nice. My, Very good. My time to shine. It is your time to shine. It is your time to, to finally experience trials and tribulations. Mm. Yes. What are what are your thoughts? I know I've been hyping it up, but I swear it's 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 up there. It's up there as one of the best Ace Attorney games. 
And my thought is just, I hope I don't come across as stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember what you're going to come across, so, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're, uh, it's your it's your time. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. I, I okay. And anytime yeah. I can just I can just click this button. Yeah. Like like right now. Yeah. Or or now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Like, uh, time during the last trial. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, true. <sighs> well, she'll she'll find out. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I mean, do, do you want me to do huff 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 huff? Yeah. Arg. How did I get into this mess? <laughs> You're dead. Why? Why did I do that? Ow. That girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I don't know who's- I'm telling you for your sake, if you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying! lying. Oh, <laughs> just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Dot dot that dot. Girl. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that. It wasn't me. I didn't. I didn't do it. Five years earlier. Earlier, I can't speak. <laughs> Second trial. <laughs> April eleventh, nine forty a.m. District Court. Defendant lobby number three. Phew, it's finally time. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> you beat me up. Okay. Oh, Mr. Grosseberg. Good morning. Grosseberg? <laughs> oh, right. Ah, uh, Mia, please calm yourself down. You're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know. What are you talking about? I am relaxed, Mr. <laughs> Look at me, I'm relaxed. <clears throat> Let's go. Let go of my lapels. Or how do you say that? Lapels? Lapels? <laughs> you obviously haven't got the temperament to be a lawyer. I er. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's just. I'm so nervous today. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Never fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Even though you're kind of pointless. Uh, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. What with your high, with your earnest request last night? Let me handle this case. You suddenly said, and quite forcefully too. I just found out yesterday about the case. I mean, what? And you've already learned all the relevant facts. Well, about that. You see, I mean, of course I have, I think. Oh, dear. In any case, don't let our clients see you're so nervous. You see, the poor young man in the pink sweater over there, that's our client. <coughs> Good morning there, everybody. Good morning. Try to keep smiling, Mia. I, uh, I just want to say, I'll give it all I got. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. No problem. <coughs> <coughs> oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something, Mr. Rai? <gasps> Actually, it's right. Like, the Flying Brothers. People screw it up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's what the mask is for. My doc says, this way I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Right, Mr. Wright. <laughs> you have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. 
<laughs> Please let go of my shirt. <laughs> That's right. He's the one on trial. Not you. He's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. My name is Mia Fey. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. But that trial trauma- oh jeez. <laughs> but that trial traumatized me so badly I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. Good lord, it was her first one? <laughs> it's been one year since then, and well, here I am again. But this time, this time I'm going to win. For my client. And for myself. Mostly for myself. <laughs> <laughs> April 11th, 10 o'clock. District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor! <laughs> The defense today is Miss... Miss... Mia Fey, was it? Y yes Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see... Mr. Grossberg had, uh, a bit of an emergency. That's his hemorrhoids. Emergency. But isn't that him standing there right next to you? That's all his hemorrhoids. <laughs> yes, well... You're just a rookie. Are you sure you can handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your toughest look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Your Honor. I think. <laughs> well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Well, well, well. I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend this time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Yeah, I don't like how it moves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, little girl. It'll all be over soon. What was that all about? Was he trying to trash talk me? Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of events on the day in question. Time to fail spectacularly. <laughs> the incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. The murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. He was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Sounds like he was a very bright young man. Yes, well, next we have a, s a photo taken at the scene of the crime. Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder. They found the victim's body. And the defendant, who had obviously bungled his getaway, then they called the police. Hmm, that certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. Very well. Court accepts this photo into the, into the record as evidence. Yay! Yay! Point one added. Your first evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Which, By the way, I don't even know what else is in there. I can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. Is the umbrella or the wires? You think it's the umbrella? A... Nah, he, he fell from the sky. <laughs> 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 your reputation for sagacity is well earned, Your Honor. The truth is that the victim died a rather unusual death. Those drugs. An unusual death? <laughs> I'm sorry, I said that weird. <laughs> what do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. Well, I am a genteel man, if you will. Um... What? <laughs> Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. Uh, a perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause. Go on. Please say you know at least this much. <laughs> well, I I'm so sorry. I, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file, even though that should be like the first thing that appeared. Right. <laughs> My hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Now see here. The details of the case are filed under the court record. 
Oh, it sounds like a tutorial. But you knew that already, yeah. didn't you? Uh, of course. Ah, uh, the court record. I think I can see that by pressing tab. Wow, look at that. What evidence? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a fatal electric shock at 3 p.m. Sweet. Nice. All the weapons, weapons we can be found. <laughs> all the weapons we need can be found in the court record. Why is weapons? Question mark. Do you mean evidence? <laughs> yeah. Right. Do weapons. Only weapons. Take a good hard look at the data there and think carefully before you answer, my dear. Y yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let that prosecutor get the better of me. The court record. Okay. I just did. <laughs> now then, would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? Hypothermia! Hypothermia? <laughs> According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution? Well, how could such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some type of new super powerful stun gun, perhaps? The answer to that will become crystal clear as, as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. But before that, there is one more vital issue. W what's that? Why, motive, of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood? W w what do you mean? <laughs> Man, I really am clueless. <laughs> Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing a spotlight like this. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. <laughs> That's Winston Payne for you. He is one smooth operator if you catch my drift. They don't call him the rookie <laughs> killer for nothing, you know. I was about to talk in his voice. Yeah. <laughs> the way they panned over to the... Yeah. <laughs> now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? And this time, I would like to see some supporting evidence. E e evidence uh, No need to get all worked up over this. I worked up! As I said, all our weapons <laughs> can be found in the court record. <laughs> I think he just means, like, the, the things you can handle to fight back are are yeah. in the court record. I, I feel that's the way he's describing it. Find the evidence you need and then old, shove it to old Greybeard's face. Y yes, sir. Into old Greybeard's <laughs> face. Get the fuck the judge that way. Mr. Grosper, <laughs> try to set a better example for the young lady. Yeah, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. Which oh, botch right. me up all the time. <laughs> You can toggle two profiles and evidence with tabs, so be sure to go over it all. Okay, my superior. Okay. My client, third year art stu art student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the victim, fourth okay, I knew that. Dated the vi oh. Why is it always a girl? <laughs> it's always a girly. Do we cause him to lose his hair? <laughs> I think so. Now then, let's see what you got. What was the cause of the bad blood between Phoenix Wright and... Uh, okay. Alright, I got this. I got this. Oh, now, now it sounds like your voice is higher than mine. And it's like, ah, <laughs> I can't go that high. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> the reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this... This woman right here! <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne, is it? Very good, Miss Bay. You seem to have picked up on at least this much. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she has some part to, to play in the story. Oh, he's done it again. Before the cross-examination starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. 
Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. Already? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what? The defendant himself? Well, Miss Faye. It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent. Right? Right? Right, right. <laughs> right, Mr. Wright. Right? <laughs> the defense has no objection. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. <laughs> I love Phoenix. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yes. My name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, uh... Well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. No, no. He means what you do before you were arrested. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I was a university student. Mr. Wright. You understand that you are suspected of the death of your fellow students, Doug Swap. But, but I didn't do it! I'm innocent! I tell you! I tell you I was. <laughs> With the defendant, please refrain from passing on his cold to the rest of us. How dare you? <laughs> it seems the witness has something he wants to say. Hmm. Well then, Mr. Wright. Please, tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. <laughs> the victim and I. Um, I, I admit I was there. But I'm not the killer! All I did was find his body! I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck a British wannabe! Oh. <laughs> hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right! Like I said, I'm not the killer! Poof. Looks like the judge understands. I don't, I don't think he knows. <laughs> You're being naive, you know. Too naive. Huh? <laughs> it seems that you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be... This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? He's right, and this is the defense's duty to cross- uh, to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if a witness testimony contains any contradictions. Goodness gracious, she's so clueless. <laughs> if a witness is lying, their statements will conflict with the court record. Like, I know this is a tutorial, but still. <laughs> but Mr. Wright is my client. Even if he is your client in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying that, tes that testimony just now? That there is a lie? A contradiction? Phoenix lying? How could he? Now then, your cross-examination if you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright. Tell me you haven't been lying. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, if I learned anything, it's to press everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> When you say there, you, meant, you mean the place where the victim was murdered. Yeah, sort of. The place where something happened, anyway. Wow. <laughs> something! You can't hide what happened. We have photographic evidence. <laughs> a a anyway, Mr. Wright, what were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. It was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. Coincidence, huh? But I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. <laughs> you say you found the body, so who called the police? Huh? Um... Unfortunately, it was some other students that notified the police. Other students? That's correct. They were the witnesses. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock! What? Is this true, Mr. Wright? 
stop, stop sneezing every time you're in a mine. <laughs> well, it's true. I was pretty shocked when I found the body. But, but I... Okay. I mean, I immediately want to... Hold up. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> So you didn't know his face or even his name, right? Right. Um, uh, well, no. That is... I mean... Give me a straight answer! <laughs> no? Which is it? Did you know him or not? <laughs> see here, you can't avoid answering the question by sneezing I'm wondering if, like, Phoenix is, like, purposely sneezing at this point. Oh, <laughs> uh, well... I guess I didn't know his name. News to me. Why didn't you tell me that before? Um, I heard he used to date Dolly. Oh, Dahlia. Okay, Dolly. <laughs> Who is this Dolly person? Ah, yes. That would be the defendant's lover, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, I see. Ah, young love. So bittersweet. But that's all I knew about him. Right, you stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. That's right. I mean, why would I even? But that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? <laughs> <laughs> you guys do the sneeze. He, yeah, he has a sneeze. Oh, I <laughs> see. <You> <laughs> Well, Mr. Wright. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't me. I'm not a killer, I swear. Mr. Wright, I will give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Yes, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Did you see it at the crime scene? The Union Jack, I mean. Yeah, that's right. I saw it at the crime scene. That's why... That's why I figured he must love British stuff, you see. It's true! Cross my heart! I swear I didn't do it. Acting... Acting fishier than the sal salmon I ate last night. May I ask you something, Miss Fay? Y y yes your honor. What is it now? Who is this person anyway? This Union Jack fellow? The Union Jack is the name of the United Kingdom's flag. Oh, I see. So you mean like the stars and stripes, right? As usual, your honor. Your insight astounds me. Brown noser. <laughs> <laughs> Something just occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bit just now? Yeah, there's a contradiction here. Mr. Grusper. Quickly now, show that boy you mean business, with evidence I mean. Okay, yeah, check the show, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Well, my dear, do you think you can I manage to point your uh, advantage on your own from this point? <laughs> One year ago, I was in a courtroom just like this. I can do it. I can handle this myself. No yeah, you can. <laughs> no, you can. Mm, you must have tried to bite off more than you could chew, Mia. I'll be, I'll be fine. I know what I have to do. Remember, you can always press him to get more information. Oh, wait, one more thing. When you're going to state a contradiction, make sure you present some definitive proof. Okay, Mia. One more time from the very beginning of his testimony. What do I have? What do you have? <laughs> do I have? Do? <laughs> I mean... I suppose I don't see the flag in this picture, but... <laughs> I know, that's uh, that's why I was like, did we see a flag? Does he have anything on his profile? No, oh, I should probably check that. Keep forgetting about the profiles. I know, that's... I mean, we can't see it, uh, so who knows? Uh, you know what, just, just take the photo. <laughs>
Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Yeah, I'm sure. It was right there on his back. Miss Bay, is there some point to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute. He's wearing a leather jacket. The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. But if that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You'd have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath that jacket. Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me. Uh, please forgive me! <laughs> Mia, you made our client cry. Oops, he shouldn't have been lying to me. <laughs> Let him! That pee on his chest doesn't stand for Phoenix anyways! Wow! It stands for Flyer! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I trusted him! Mr. Wright was all wrong! <laughs> that was an impressive bit of a cross-examination. Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. I go too far. By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? Uh, 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 yeah, I took some, but. Was the medicine that you took an over the counter brand called Cold Killer X? Oh, that's a gnarly brand name. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. He killed cold and dead. <laughs> hey, wait a second. How did you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. You lost it? Does this even have anything to do with the case? Mr. Wright. Shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Hmm? Your honor! I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. You're hiding another- okay, fine. Fine! <laughs> <laughs> who, who takes a picture of this? Oh, what's this in the victim's hands? It's- It's cold killer X! <laughs> Yes, but even I've got a bottle of cold killer X in my apartment. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of cold killer X belongs to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints are all over it. What? Seeing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine. Dropped by Mr. Wright and hid it in his hand. His purpose in doing so can only be uh, been to identify his killer as Phoenix Wright. Order, order in the court. Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into the record. Dumb. <laughs> I thought it's going to seem dumb. Okay, whatever. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Miss Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? Uh, uh. He's just dying. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh, my buttocks. My poor, poor hemorrhoids. The truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacological the pharmacology department, so we agreed to meet at 245 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then at around 3, we split up. And later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I'd been taking Cold Killer X for the last 2 or 3 days. 
But I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Wright, that's completely different from the testimony you gave previously. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You'll forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. Hmm, Miss Faye, please begin your cross-examination. I mean, should I even be cross-examining my defendant? <laughs> That's what I was wondering too, like, is that something that they do? <laughs> no, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. Why you lying? It's like, I should let him lie, should I? <laughs> <laughs> You ever met the victim before then? No, never. But, but that day he called me up and told me he wanted to talk about Dolly. And this Dolly, we just established this judge. <laughs> <laughs> He's dementia. My um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. She's a my sweetheart. Oh, what? What was that for, Mia? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like slapping something all of a sudden. Dahlia Hawthorne was also the lover of the murderer victim, Doug Swallow. Before she met Mr. Wright, that is. Hmm. So it was one of those nasty love triangles, I see. He was in the pharmacology department. <laughs> 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 Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah, so we are both there right on time. Mm, you said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? <laughs> <You> too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the alchemist of IVU. An alchemist, I see. I gotta admit, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. Well, I mean, he's a fourth year student. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Oh, fascinating. It sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for some more details? Oh, shucks. Um. So you're absolutely certain that you met at 2.45? Yeah, pretty sure. That's the time class ends. But they're always doing some experiments, so it doesn't matter much. Experiments? Yeah, those pharmacology guys are always whipping something up in the lab. Well, it looks like he's right about the time anyway. Witness, let's go on with your testimony. No, no, hold up, go back. <laughs> <laughs> I need to- I need to know what the other option was. <laughs> I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharma- pharma-, pharma, pharma, pharma the pharmacology department. <laughs> well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the, the department uses strange m machines that run on high voltage electricity. That's right. And they sure look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages, so there are high voltage cables everywhere. High voltage cables? Yeah. There were electrical poles set up all around the building. The high voltage cables run overhead through around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. Are we? Can you add, can you add that to the testimony? <laughs> <laughs> so what was it you were talking about? No. Uh, maybe we should hang out again sometime. Hang out again sometime? I wish that were true. Uh, so you say you went back. Yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Well, that's right, I was. Then why, Mr. Wright? Why did you go back there? Um, I thought maybe we could make up.
judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one is buying this. <laughs> It's rather unusual to catch a cold this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, I always get a little careless when the weather starts to warm up. Oh, he gets summer colds. I guess I shouldn't sleep with I the guess. window open this early in the spring. <laughs> Never mind. Just spring colds. Spring colds. I suppose common sense is not always common. So, did anyone else know that you were taking cold medicine? Well, I always took one after meals. So I'm pretty sure all my friends knew about it. Stop! Yes, of course he has friends! <laughs> that he doesn't talk about for whatever reason. On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Huh? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. You can never be too sure. <laughs> I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest. The greatest. Mmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> Ow! Why did you punch me in the jaw? What the heck? <laughs> oh! I I'm so sorry. I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. She's allergic like, to romance. She <laughs> She's like, ew. People in love, nasty. <laughs> I think that's enough for now. So, the defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. Let me be frank here, Mr. Wright. Your testimony cannot be trusted. What do you mean? <laughs> I knew it was too much work for a little girl. However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, your honor. How the murder was carried out, of course. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet, correct? Well, that is a... I... You are correct, your honor. So how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? If I could somehow establish how it was done, maybe I could still come out of this mess smelling like, smelling like a rose. Um... I mean, the picture had the wire kind of like... Yeah, it, I, I, I wanna say it. <laughs> Ooh, first save of the run, nice. I can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna present that picture. <laughs> Oops. Yes, Mr. Bay. <laughs> I believe. If, I believe that if we were to piece together everything we've heard uh, up until now, we should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. That that would be most impressive. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the brash statement coming from a rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the court, yes? An attorney must be able to substantiate their arguments with evidence. Of course I know that. Actually, I had totally forgotten about that. <laughs> what the heck me up? <laughs> now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you've got. Show me how you believe the victim was electrocuted. Well, I was gonna present this. It's probably wrong. <laughs> For the cause of death. I'd say this picture captures it quite well. Wh what? Oh, this judge is really okay. But then <laughs> there is nothing even remotely res that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. Hmm. I'm afraid the defense is gonna have to explain this in a bit more detail. Miss Faye, where exactly in this photo is the murder weapon? <laughs> well, naturally, it's right here. That's... that's... W what is that? A severed electrical cable, I believe, your honor. Remember the testimony we've heard. The machines the ph pharmacology students use in their experiments require high voltage. And because of that, there are special high-voltage cables strung up everywhere. So then, the high-voltage cable. 
Yes, the high voltage cable is the cause of death. That is the most likely explanation. Hmm, that certainly sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. <laughs> now, now, the victim's cause of death may indeed have been a high voltage cable. However, I want you to think about what that really implies. The only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was... The Defendant! True. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that much is certainly true. Yes, and that's not all. We have proof. The irrefutable proof that will establish that Mr. Wright was the murderer. You do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints. Fingerprints? Do you mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. And as you may know, leather holds fingerprints quite well. Ah, uh, you, you, you mean... Yes, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. In the palm print of the defendant's very own hand. W what? I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a fingerprint like that. Oh, a print like that. <laughs> Intent on murder! He squarely pushed the victim towards the severed electrical tape. Cable. Cable! <laughs> 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 Electrical table. Uh oh. Order, order, order. That's enough. I think we can conclude that there is no reason to continue with this cross examination. Oh, oh it's over. <laughs> what? Oh, thank goodness. Stick a fork in us. We're done. <laughs> I'm Grossberg right now. Mr. Grossberg. <laughs> My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mia. I knew that boy was guilty for the first time I saw him. Mm, yes. N no, you're wrong. Mr. Wright is innocent. No further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Y your Honor! At this time, I am prepared to render a verdict in this case. Objection. <laughs> Do you have something further to add, Miss Faye? Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? You still haven't told us the truth, the whole truth. If you don't say something now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. But I... I can't... I just can't say it! If I told you what really happened, then I'd... Be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. Miss Faye... No matter what it is you have to say, I believe in you, and I'll rep represent you to the very end. Phoenix looks so cute there, so baby. <laughs> We've already baby. established the defendant's guilt. There's no further need for him to say anything. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mr. Wright. I... I'll tell you what really happened. I've already told you, Mr. Wright. There's no need for further. <laughs> I... I did it. I admit it! I pushed him! It's my fault. My fault! That dog swallowed is dead! That girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. 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 Stop it. <laughs> Don't talk about her like that.
What you just said, was that the truth? Yes, I, I, I was afraid. Afraid that if I told the truth, everyone would think I was the murderer for sure. Well, as things currently stand, we're all absolutely convinced you are. <laughs> Please! Please give me one more chance to explain. This time I swear. I swear I'll tell the whole truth. It'll be okay, won't it, Miss Fay? I... I believe in you. Oh, um, th thank you. <laughs> I still can't believe it. You really did push the victim. Uh, it feels like my hemorrhoids are doing the Harlem Shake. <laughs> Which apparently came from 2002. When I pushed the victim... That guy. He was talking bad about Dolly. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back. But he was just lying there. Dead! Well, the explanation is really quite simple. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallow flew back and touched the electrical ta table. God, cable! <laughs> cable, table. <laughs> God. He died from the shock. And that is to say, uh, and that, as they say, is that. Hmm. A simple explanation indeed. At the time of the incident, a light rain had been falling. Went from the rain, the vic went from the rain, the victim was e more easily electrocuted. But when I pushed him, there weren't any any electrical cables there nearby. <laughs> I was about to say tables again. If there had been something like that, I, even I would have noticed. That's true. Even a doofus like him couldn't miss that. Hmm, Miss Faye. Let me warn you right now that if your cross-examination doesn't yield any new facts, I intend to deliver my verdict without further delay. Are we clear on that? <laughs> yes, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up, Mia. If he is innocent, there must be some kind of evidence somewhere that will prove it. <laughs> so what kinds of things did Mr. Swallow say to you? He said all sorts of terrible things about Dolly. He said that she was a bad girl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, is that all? Yep. Well, Miss Faye, you heard him yourself. Oh boy, you're not doing yourself any favors here, Mr. Wright. Please don't make this harder for me to know than it already is. Anyway, after he said that, I just, I just, I just lost your temper and gave him a show. Can you tell me about what happened in a little wh about what happened in a little more detail? That guy. He just said what he wanted to say to me. And then he put on the jacket he was holding and started to leave. Uh, that's when that's when I lost my temper and flew into a furious frenzy. Just gave him a, a light, gentle <laughs> shove to the chest. No, no, okay. A light, gentle shove to the ground. Yes. And when you did that, there is no severed cable anywhere to be seen. Right! There was nothing like that at all! But is it possible that you merely overlooked it? Well... I guess it's possible. Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Don't let that guy steamroll over you like a cheap asphalt. I believe what's important here is the moment the push occurred. Let's continue on with the testimony, witness. A loud noise. And what would you say that loud noise was, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but it was really loud. 
It was like, snap! You know, come to think of it, I wonder what it was. <laughs> Clearly, your honor, it was the sound of the victim being electrocuted. You're not qualified to decide that. What should I do? I'm treading on some dangerous ground here. Ask for more details. <laughs> Mr. Wright, that loud noise you heard may be extremely important. So try to remember what it was. Hmm, how do I put it? It was like a, a sharp crack. Aha! Could it could it have been Yes? Could it have been? Hurry up and tell us! <laughs> When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding. And how forceful was that shove? How weak was that umbrella? <laughs> he fell right oh, on top okay. of it. Ow. Ow. That seems like it would hurt, right? It would hurt. Ugh, he fell right on top of it and it broke. That, uh, that was probably the noise I heard. Oops. And how did he fall on top of it? I would have... Whatever. An umbrella, huh? How did that... And did that umbrella belong to the victim? Yeah, it was a plastic umbrella. Cheap and frail, kind of like the owner. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. God, Nick. <laughs> but again, I wish I had any kind of umbrella. I was totally soaked to the bone. Hmm. Miss Faye. What do you think? Is there something important in that testimony just now? Um, well, of course it's important. <laughs> this is it, Mia. The new inf information you've been waiting for. Of course it's important. No, this cheap umbrella is more than important. It's vital. <laughs> I want to officially have it, <laughs> it entered into the testimony. Ha! <laughs> Perfectly fitting, flimsy information for a flimsy lawyer. You're gonna just Court take that. To the, <laughs> the defense is You're just gonna take and be called flimsy. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very flimsy. <laughs> Witness, please add a bit about the cheap umbrella to your testimony. Oh, I will. I guess we'll press that again. <laughs> So Mr. Swallow fell on top of an umbrella, and you are certain of this. Yeah, it was right there under him. Actually, if it hadn't been under him, I was planning on bar- He was just gonna steal it. I was planning on <laughs> borrowing it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> the umbrella, you mean? Well, yeah, you see, I was wearing this sweater here, and you're still wearing it. <laughs> Dolly stayed up late for nights at a time knitting it for me. I didn't want the rain to dampen the handmade symbol of her love. Yeah, I can. Oh, <laughs> My stomach is not to be used as your personal soccer ball, Mia! Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Continue on with your testimony, witness. <laughs> After you shoved the victim, did you leave the scene right away? Yes, I did! I admit it, I, I was furious. You left without even checking Mr. Swallow's condition? Well, uh, yeah, but like I said, I got worried about him later. At that time, did you see anyone else at the scene of the crime? Stop coughing! <laughs> uh, don't. Nobody. Jeez. Could that stupid cough possibly sound any phonier? Oh my god, he's like... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> In that case, it's very hard to believe someone else could have been the murderer. Unless we found some, uh, find something that shows his innocence from that testimony, my dear. I'm afraid the judge will make his final decision with no remorse whatsoever. Yes, sir. Right now I need more info. Info that will help me turn up some contradictions. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. I mean, I, 
guess I should review some stuff. <laughs> the time can i read that time not really wait yeah i think you can hold up it is okay that's 12 that's 305 Three right what time did he die 3 p.m hmm. so it was already five over like five minutes after eh, that kind of makes sense if they're taking photos right but i mean they didn't mention anything about time oh anywhere. wait a minute wait i don't know it says we're tag teaming this i might as well just just yeah, blabber it out, right? So blabber it out. Remember how they said that the, the the watch stopped when he got electrocuted? Yeah. Why I mean, did that's it? What I was yeah. Why did it stop at three o five? It's just I don't. I wouldn't know where to present that. I don't. I may. It might be too early. You remember those big old logic yeah. jumps that we're not <laughs> supposed to do? <laughs> we're doing too, too big of a leap right there. Right. Right. So, what is next? Step. Mm. I mean, there, I mean, it's not under him. I guess. I guess that we could start with that. Uh, he fell on. Uh, present. Oh shit! Not that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Why didn't you testify the, about the umbrella from the very beginning? <laughs> Come on, if I had mentioned that... I would have been able to counter the prosecution's arguments earlier. Oh, sorry. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Take another look at the crime scene photo. According to Mr. Wright, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. However, if you look closely... The umbrella is nowhere near the victim. Actually, it's by the electrical pole. You're, you're absolutely right. The conclusion here is obvious. After the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. In other words, after he was pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow was still alive. You, you should do his no. Do no, it quick. No, no, because it's like it's so high pitched. <laughs> Order, order, order. The victim. He moved. Mr. Payne, the umbrella in this photo. Where is it now? Well, it was collected by the police at the crime scene. I want it presented as evidence immediately. Went by the victim. Found broken in an electrical pole at the crime scene. Wow, it does look cheap. <laughs> it really does. But the umbrella could have simply been blown there by the wind. According to the testimony, the victim fell on top of the umbrella. There's simply no way it could have been blown there by the wind. <laughs> but... I know this matter of the umbrella seems relatively trivial. But, as long as the smallest doubt remains, I cannot render final judgment. <laughs> no! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I must say, I still find it hard to believe that a huge hole has been blown in the prosecution's case by a defendant's testimony. Phoenix testimony and blah 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 blah. Well done, Mia. Yeah, it's because I don't have hemorrhoids. <laughs> Mr. Payne, what are you chuckling about? Pardon me, Your Honor. It seems I was expecting too much of a free ride. It was foolish to think I could establish such a foolish guilt through foolish cross-examination alone. <laughs> what we added so many foolish... <laughs> this, this is it. Come <laughs> on, karma. I miss her, okay. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't follow what you're saying. Let me guess. You have another witness. Exactly, and this witness's testimony will be in what? Incontrovertible. How, how do you say that? In incontrovertible? Without controversy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That that I'll take that. Well, who is this witness? Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Oof, she's gonna 
betray us. He's the murderer. Dahlia Hawthorne? You don't mean Dolly. I do, your honor. The defendant's very own lover is a witness to the whole thing. That's right. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. What? <laughs> rabble, rabble, rabble. I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, my dear. Oh, okay. I'm confident, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> bad news. You couldn't be more wrong. Actually, I've been waiting for this. You can't be serious. Mia, what do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Crossberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 20 minute <laughs> recess. What is this? This is a fat not recess. Minute recess. Afterwards, we will listen to the testimony of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Wow, we really get to like have whole 20 minutes. It's usually like 10 minutes long. <laughs> April 11th, 11:52. Just defendant lobby number 3. Miss Faye, oh. I'm sorry about what happened back there. I, I... It's alright. At least you told us the truth in the end, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I can start to relax then, huh? Relax, my boy. You can't be serious after hiding such important facts. But... But the next witness is my dolly, right? She'll save me. I just know she will. You're gonna have your heart broken, aren't you? <laughs> Why do you think that? Huh? What do you mean? She's... She's the love of my life, that's why! The love of your life, huh? Would you mind telling me more about you and... Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? Sure, no problem. Dolly and I... We first met about eight months ago right here in this very courthouse. Actually, I'm studying to be a lawyer on the side. Anyway. One day, she and I just bumped into each other in the reading room downstairs. That's why I really think it was fate that brought us together. As soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Oh, here, take a look at this. She gave this to me the day we met as a symbol of our love. That's so fast. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why did she have it on hand? She had been oh, wearing okay. it around her neck that day, but then... Immediately? She took it off, but before she gave it to me, she said, I want you to carry this. It was a gift from her ex-boyfriend and she didn't want it anymore, that's why. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> So she gave it to you as a present, I see. This darling little bottle is filled with the memories of my darling little dolly. Hmm. It certainly is a little bottle, alright. It makes me so happy. I show it to everyone I meet. It's like, is this, is this lawyer badge? <laughs> I want to share my happiness with the whole world. He shows it to everyone. Did you show it to the ex-boyfriend? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, anyway. So after that, you and Miss Hawthorne started dating. Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she's always says the same thing to me. Oh gosh, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> Please give it back now. What a strange girl, asking for a present back like that. By the way, Mr. Wright, the day you first met Dahlia Hawthorne eight months ago, it wouldn't happen to have been on August 27th, would it? Huh? Y yeah, it was. But how did you... This happened on August 27th, right here in this courthouse. What's this? A newspaper clipping? Let's see. Murder in the courthouse. Murder? <laughs> that M is not colored. <laughs> Does it bug you? A little bit, yeah. What are you reading there? Let me see that. <gasps> oh, I see. Yeah, I think I understand what you're trying to say. 
And I think I understand why you suddenly took uh, such a keen interest I in this case. I don't understand. <laughs> you believe there is some connection between these two cases, am I correct? I suppose so, man. <laughs> And it doesn't even tell me about the article. Okay, it's about a murder, but obviously, but it doesn't tell me anything else. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if you can read it. I'm curious if you can. Can I? Can I see? Oh, I can't. Ooh! Very little information is being disclosed at this time since the victim of yesterday's incident in the district courthouse cafeteria is said to have been a lawyer. However, police are questioning the 19-year-old female college student who was sitting with the victim. This doesn't tell me anything! <laughs> no, it's so vague! Why is it so vague? This is a horrible article! <laughs> I'm suing! <laughs> I hope you don't mind, Mr. Grossberg. I... I need to finish this myself. Mm, yes, but... I'm afraid what you have will not be enough, my dear. I know, I just read it! <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who presented it! I'll go and have a look in the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. Thank you. I want to do whatever I can to be of help to you, Mia. Wow, when he was actually useful. Well, it looks like recess is about over. We'd better all get moving. That was a fast 20 minutes. Right. It's as <laughs> short as the 10 minutes that we typically get. <laughs> I guess so. That recess sure seemed longer. That was seems shorter. What are you talking about? <laughs> Continued. All right, let's wait until next week. <laughs> what? Next week? What? Okay. <laughs> what? Do you need a break though? No, I'm good. Do you need a break? Nah, I'm okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. April 11th, 1213. 12, Why do they start at a. Okay. It should be like 1215 or 12 or 1230. Well, okay. No, they had to bug you. Room number two. <laughs> Court will now reconvene. Mr. Payne, please call your witness. This next person is someone who witnessed the crime as it happened. The prosecution calls Miss Dahlia Hawthorne to the stand. Man, I want to punch you in the face already. What's with the stiff silence? In my long career as a judge, I have been deceived by many witnesses. It's my job to doubt, to take no one at their word. But in your case, I must admit that you radiate a glow of complete sincerity. Loser. <laughs> can't believe he actually said that! Oh! Um, now then, witness. Can you please say your full name? I um oh okay yeah you you player you player. <laughs> God <laughs> I um don't worry, sweetie. There's no need to be <laughs> to be nervous. If anyone says anything rude, you can be sure I'll cut them right down to size. Jeez, these are okay. And I will bash them with my cavil. I love how they look straight at me when they say that. <laughs> Um, thank you for calming my nerves. You are all so nice. I almost feel right at home. Not at all. It was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if we may move on now, what is your full name occupation? <laughs> my name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a junior in literature at Ivy University. I just want to say... It's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. And then the whole crowd swoons. The, the, the audience is swooning. The Burr. honor is all mine. <laughs> no, the honor is all mine because I'm the judge. <laughs> well, we know whose milkshake brings all the voice to the. <laughs> God, all these references. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? You just go on and say whatever's on your mind. I'm sure that there must be some kind of mistake. 
Beanie wouldn't kill anyone. That's a horrible nickname. <laughs> I just know it. Yes, yes. I can see why you'd say that. You're going to be a tough witness, alright. It only took her 12 seconds to wrap them all around her little finger. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. Let's hear about what you witnessed on the day of the incident, if you please. Uh huh. Maybe, maybe you should have done this one. You want me to voice it? <laughs> no, that's fine. I had been planning to go back to Feeny's place after class was over. Feeny and... Dougie. Dookie. Dougie. Dougie. <laughs> they were talking behind the building. Then suddenly, Dougie got all wobbly and just collapsed. That's when Feeny noticed that I was there. I went to go and find some other students and they called the authorities. I... I don't know what to say. According to you, Miss Hawthorne. The defendant didn't do anything wrong. Young lady. As old as I am, even I recall how hot the flames of young passion can burn. Nevertheless, it is my job to discover the truth. Please tell us the truth. But I... I would never... That's more than enough, witness. I won't allow this to continue. W what do you mean by that? Please, just let me proceed with my cross-examination, your honor. I, for one, don't plan to win my case on a bunch of paper-thin lies. He... he haven't changed a bit. Mia, Faye... Do we know each other? Shit. <laughs> What's this? So you two are... acquainted? Yes, we've met before. Once. <laughs> Once was enough. <laughs> Once was enough. <laughs> In any case, Miss Faye, the floor is all yours. It's good to see you again, Madam Faye. Madam? <laughs> oh. Madam? Oh. Yet, yeah, girly. <laughs> girly! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Press everything! I still hate the nickname Feeny. Now, unless I'm mistaken, Feeny. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Wright is in the art department. If that's the case, then what were you doing by the pharmacology building? Well, I'm in the literature department. I'm studying Japanese sen senryu po poetry. Oh, ho, ho, how wonderful! Isn't that humorous yet sa sa satirical style of haiku, yes? Nothing left to do when a man reaches this age. Sleep is his best friend. Okay. That's supposed to be poetry? Sounds more like a midlife crisis. For me to get to the art department, I have to walk through that back area. Ah, yes, I see. That makes sense. When I want to enter the courthouse, I always walk through the front doors. <laughs> how else would you enter? Teleportation? I keep forgetting how ridiculous the judge is sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of... he's too silly. I don't know how he's a judge. I don't know how he's still alive. Mm -hmm. So who's the Dougie person? Oh, I'm sorry. Doug Swallow. We were dating until about eight months ago. So what were Dougie, ahem, and Mr. Swallow and Mr. Wright talking about anyway? How, how can you be so mean? I would never... I would never eavesdrop. I wasn't raised to be so rude and unrefined. <laughs> That's right, Miss Faye. <laughs> Don't drag the witness down to your level. Why am I being demonized here? <laughs> Please go on. Oh, what did you see next? <laughs> it's got all wobbly. Are you saying that the victim just collapsed on his own? Y yes. In other words, the defendant never touched the victim, is that right? I was watching the whole time. Feeny never did a thing to Dougie. If I press her for no good reason, I just know the judge will get angry with me. Hmm. So what should I do about your testimony just now? I mean, 
I don't know if I have the, the proof of that print on the leather jacket. They never gave it to me. <laughs> I mean, there's... Umbrella. I'll just leave it alone for now. Just for now. Oh, oops. I'll hold off on looking into any deeper until it's necessary. Very well, young lady. Please go on with your testimony. And what did Mr. Wright say when he saw you? I, I'm sorry. I, I was so flustered that I... I really don't remember. P please forgive me. I'll smack you until you remember. Wow. You don't remember? Well, that's common enough. Sometimes I can't recall a sentence I passed only minutes prior. Same. Same, Judge. Please, someone, anyone stop him before he gets hurt by me. <laughs> <laughs> Mia's yeah. like, out here gonna be like, I'm just gonna abuse every single man in this room. <laughs> you need the whip. When you say students, do you mean students from the pharmacology department? Yes, they're all very fond of their drugs. <laughs> their drugs. Okay, wait. <laughs> Please try to stay on topic. <laughs> so to find some pharmacology students, you went I'm to the sure. labs, correct? You know what? I'm sure that like pharmacy kid students, they always make those jokes. I'm. I, they have to. They have to. <laughs> they have to. That's what I was planning to do, but in the end, I wound up not going. A group about, of about 10 research students came running out of the building entrance. Somehow, they all seemed to know what was going on. The students knew what was going on. But how could the students have known what was going on? Well, I don't know for sure that they knew what had happened. It's just, they all seemed kind of excited about something. Hmm. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get more, any, more, any more info about the students. So did the students call the police? Yes, I, I was just so... I was so panicked. Mm, yes, well, anyone would have been, my dear. That girl, she's telling a super obvious lie and she knows it. Is, is it super obvious? <laughs> she's just pretending to protect Mr. Right. Yes, that's got to be it. Way to go, Mia. Man, they okay, only met I mean, once. They only met once and Mia's already beefing. What's what's going on? <laughs> what happened? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to dig deep to find the contradiction on this one. <laughs> now, unless I'm mistaken, Feeny, I mean, Mr. Wright isn't. Wait, did I already. Uh, I'm pretty I sure already you already pressed this one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't press this. I thought I was. <laughs> okay. I think, I think it cycled back. Alright. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There is something I could have pressed for this thingy with Jig. But. I mean, there's that. But should I do it when I press the thing? I think so. I, I I mean I think either way it'll it'll still work. I don't know. I don't I don't trust the, this code. <laughs> Show contradiction. Fe oh, feeble lies are not very becoming, Miss Hawthorne. So let's drop them, shall we? What? I I would never. Hey, Miss Faye. I will not allow you to badger the witness. I believe the defense is engaged in a, a, a fishing expedition. That is, uh, she has no supporting. Jeez, Mia. Please don't glare at me like that. I, I'm just doing my job. Now then, Miss Hawthorne. The defendant's palm print was sp Oh, so they mentioned it, but okay, fine, whatever. The defendant's palm print was found on Mr. Swallow's leather jacket. It has already been shown that Mr. Wright did, in fact, push the victim. What? There's no need to try to cover for the defendant. It would be much better if you came out and told us the whole truth. 
Hmm. There's nothing to worry about, young lady. Just tell us everything that you saw. Yes, your honor. I, I will, if you don't mind. I, I'd like to revise my testimony. Looks like we're finally getting somewhere. Okay, I couldn't have done that. You didn't- Okay. <laughs> she was just blind to the violets. You didn't see it. Well, I saw the moment when Doug Dougie fell to the ground. And at that time, there was only two of them at the scene. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and the victim, Doug Swallow. Y yes, that's right. Uh, is this new? That's I new. That's th I'm pretty <laughs> like, sure that's I new. I remember seeing this. <laughs> God. So then, what, what did it look like they were doing? So then, what did it look like they were doing to you? I thought they were having a nice, friendly afternoon conversation. <laughs> okay. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> I really wasn't watching them all that closely. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? No, nothing at all, Mr. Judge. Oh. I like the sound of that, Mr. Judge. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. Okay. It didn't look like they were fighting, but... But... There is a loud sound that happened. I don't know. I didn't hear anything unusual either. Hmm. That's uh, well. That makes. I think the mm -hmm. didn't didn't yeah. Phoenix say about when he landed on top of the the umbrella and made a large uh, a loud sound. It made a loud sound. Yeah. So I guess before that, it didn't look like they were fighting. But then but... she should have heard something but at then, least. Yeah, she should have heard something that. Okay, what's the button? Here's the button. Loud snap. Loud sound. Objection! Objection! You say you didn't hear anything unusual, is that correct? Yes, that's why I was very relaxed, looking at the scenery around me. Just having butterflies flutter around. Yeah, because I'm a princess. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, but I find that just a little odd. I have here the testimony of your boyfriend, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And he clearly testified to the effect that when he pushed the victim, he heard a snap. Uh, he heard a sharp, a loud noise. Oops. <laughs> he, he said that? If you were really that close to the two of them, why didn't you hear this noise as well? Well, maybe oh. the noise just wasn't all that memorable. But according to Mr. Wright's testimony, it was a sharp noise, like a snap. There's no way a noise like that could fail to make an impression. Ah! I wanted to see Lucas lose his hair. <laughs> um, or it just gets all shit. Wanted to answer, but but by all means, I know the reason why I didn't hear the noise. She had I'm definitely. On. Oh. <laughs> She got her eye. She got her iPod or AirPods on. AirPods. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the truth is, I had my headphones on and I was listening to music okay. at that time. I was just joking. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was too morbid. <laughs> headphones? You mean that both of your ears were covered? The rain was just beginning to let up. But it seemed as though Thor wasn't ready for his fun to come to an end yet. So the sky continued to flash and rumble. Thunder and lightning, huh? Yes, I'm afraid of the sound of thunder. So I put my headphones on to block it out. <laughs> well, your honor. As you can see, there weren't any, any there weren't any contradictions in her testimony after all. Hmm. Wait a second, Mia. That testimony just now. She said something that could totally change this whole case. Um... There was lightning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. 
Your Honor, there is a problem with the witness's testimony. What, what do you mean? Didn't you notice? She said there was lightning, correct? Yes, what about it? Well, lightning is actually a large discharge of electricity in the atmosphere, am I right? <laughs> wow, okay. Now is not the time for a science lesson, Miss Fay. Yes, Your Honor. Anyway, since the cause of death was electrocution, isn't it possible that the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning? Oh, ah, uh, yeah. ah! <laughs> rabble, rabble, rabble. Hmm, I must admit that the thought had not occurred to me. Just what kind of thoughts do occur to this guy anyway? None. There's Watching nothing that in there. All that time. <laughs> This entire case is built on the premise that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered. But that very premise itself is mistaken. The defense believes that Mr. Swallow was, in fact, the victim of a stray bolt. But there would have been, like, something on the ground, wouldn't there? Like, yeah, like scorch marks? Yeah. It, it appears the defense may be onto something. Could it be that the death was actually accidental? Alright, you did it, Mia. I'll be taking that not guilty. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> I'm hurt that you have such a low opinion of me, Miss Faye. Huh? I'm not a fool, you know. The prosecution has done its research, Your Honor. We found that there were no lightning strikes on that day at that location. What? What's more? More evidence? We have evidence that the electrical cable is definitely linked to this case. Okay. Evidence, Mr. Payne. Well, what is this evi evidence? This affidavit. Affidavit? Affidavit. 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 Okay. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's you. Yeah, it was <laughs> affidavit from. The pharmacology students who were conducting experiments in their labs that day. Allow me to read out the court, the testimony of the uh, pharmacology students. All equipment in the labs lost power all of a sudden at around 3 p.m. that day. Okay. Was it a blackout? All of the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, Your Honor. So you're saying the equipment lost power because... Precisely. They lost power because of the seven electrical tape... Cable. <laughs> cable. I don't know why cable. I want tables. Saying it. Cable. 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 <laughs> the power outage occurred at approximately 3 p.m. Which fits with the time of death listed in the autopsy report. Well, at least they're now mentioning times, so I can probably exactly. do that walk pretty fun. Yeah, I think the watch will now be irrelevant. Exactly! In other words... The victim died as a result of touching the severed electrical cable. That was five minutes enough. <laughs> According to the students, the cables were very old. They're planning on having them replaced in the near future. Hmm, I see. Apparently, the cables had become so brittle that even the smallest bump would have caused them to break. So there was fifty-five. So there was like a ten-minute delay from him getting shot. It looks like it took him ten minutes to die. <laughs> Sheesh. He was just stuck being electrocuted for 10 minutes. Okay, okay. So, for what we know, right? 2.45 is when they met. 10 minutes later... Or, yeah, 10 minutes later, right? That's when oh, the... Watch. That's when it yeah. busted. And then, for an uh, amount of time, Phoenix eventually came back, and he's like, Oh god, he's dead. But then oh, it was God, like 10 minutes, it had to be 10 minutes after that, that he, he got electrocuted, right? I guess. Mm, okay. At some point. However, there's one thing that troubles me. If the cable could have been broken by any small bump, then it wouldn't have snapped if it hadn't been bumped into, correct? 
Well, I suppose you could say that. Hmm, Miss Fay. Do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the severed cable? Y y your honor. I I'm stressed. <laughs> I don't like how this is looking one bit. I had to come up with something to try to regain some momentum. If it pleases the court, the defense would like to state its opinion. I have an opinion? <laughs> well then, let's hear it. Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? Oh my god, I hate whatever. It's just like, ah, yes, I have a thought. And I'm like, what thought? You're not sharing your thoughts with me. <laughs> I mean, do they want me to say Doug Swallow or Phoenix Wright? <laughs> Uh Or... I mean... Okay, he fell on top of his umbrella. Did they say anything about him hitting a... A... Pole? Oh! Hmm. I mean, this is found near... The electrical pole That's at true. the crime scene. But... I don't- I don't like this who or what. It is this... I mean... Should, should I do Doug? I think you should do Doug. Doug. I think- I agree. I agree with Doug. This is it. This is why the cable snapped. Never mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> your <is> honor. <laughs> Oops. I believe that the- okay. Oh man, uh -oh. I thought we had that! Do they want me to say Phoenix? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, that was one of your best lines yet, your honor. Ouch, that was harsh. Please, your honor, well, at least don't punish me, right? <laughs> it's the tutorial, they can't punish me. <laughs> wow. But you know what, that's that, <laughs> that's pretty nice that they don't punish us there. Ooh, so... I'm trying the umbrella. Or the, okay, I'll do the umbrella, because I was... What? Okay. Never fine. mind. Try Never Phoenix. Mind. Phoenix. <laughs> fine. You want me to say my defense? <laughs> fine. Oh shit! I'm not <laughs> gonna do that. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I just wanted to let people know that I'm a lawyer. <laughs> you gotta flash it around. But wrong way. You're only twenty-one. Oh baby. <laughs> Baby. Your Honor, please think back to Mr. Wright's testimony. The defendant's testimony. He said that after he pushed the victim, he heard a loud, sharp noise. Now this happened at around 3 p.m., correct? Yes, that sounds right. Wait, are you saying that the lab equipment lost power at 2.55 p.m., which fits right in Mr. Wright's... Which fits right in Mr. Wright's timeline. <laughs> In other words, it was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power outage. Dang, I don't know why you're smiling so about it. <laughs> yes, the prosecution also came to that same conclusion. Of course. And it was that very shove that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted. I hate how he plays with his hair. <laughs> no, like, why is it like that? I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Mr. Payne. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Take a good look at where the victim landed after being shoved. See the umbrella? It's by the electrical pole. That's right, the victim banged into that pole as a result of being pushed. It was that impact that caused the cable to break. Hmm, well, that makes sense. And then the victim was electrocuted. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but no, it doesn't make sense at all. If the victim was shoved into that far pole, then he couldn't have been electrocuted by the severed cable in the foreground here. You're supposed to screech. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> in other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. It was Dahlia. Pain screams too Order. much. <laughs> Order in the court. Ah, the lamentations of my enemy. How I've longed to hear them. He's just it, dying in the background. <laughs> the defense is absolutely correct. There doesn't seem to be any way the defendant- Oh god, you cut me off, Dahlia! Um, Mr. Judge, sir, can I say something? <laughs> I gotta take a drink. Attorney's explanation. 
She said some things that are a little different than I remember them. What the? Please, just once more. She's throwing her case into the can. One last time? Please, Mr. Judge. Of course it's alright. Just go right ahead and give your new testimony. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. She's finally starting to show her true colors. Can't fool me with those crocodile tears. And the butterflies. And the dainty little hands. <laughs> what I witnessed, part two. The truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. The first time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. Then Ducky tried his best to run away from him. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. The cable snapping and Ducky being electrocuted. It all occurred in less than a minute. Lies! No way, she's Lies! she's now throwing Phoenix under the bus? <laughs> oh, okay. The gal Dr. of this woman. The gal. <laughs> the gall. <laughs> yeah, the gall. <laughs> the victim got up and tried to run away. And that is when the defendant pushed him for the second time. You see more hand prints on the leather jacket. Right. I'm so sorry, Feeny, but I... I just had to tell the truth. Am I doing the right thing? Am I Mr. Judge? Oh, of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may seem, you are. <laughs> Do you think Feeny is still delusional at the, at the defendant stand? He's just like, no, she's not actually throwing me under the bus. He's just gaslighting himself at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Now then, Miss Faye, you may proceed with your cross-examination. I'm still gonna press everything, though. <laughs> yeah. Hold it! Hold it. Miss Hawthorne, previously in your testimony, you said the following. Actually, I didn't see the moment he pushed Dougie. I know. I I'm sorry. I wanted to protect Feeny. So that's why you basically lied to the court? I was a bad girl. I know. Um... Mr. Judge? Y y yes Would you please, please forgive little old me? Oh, I want to punch her so bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're just me. You what you did is called perjury. I'll calm now. It was just a little old white lie. You're not a bad girl. Forget it this time, but please be more careful from now on, alright? Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Judge. Not at all. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I'm so proud of himself. <laughs> Judge had better be more careful himself. A dark alley is friendlier than that girl. Oof. She's been burned by this. Yeah. By this girl before. She is beeping. Like, real hard. <laughs> real. You're saying you actually saw the victim get pushed into the electrical pole. I know he doesn't look it, but Feeny can be a bit of an imp when he wants to be. Oh, really? But I never imagined that he would cause an electrical cable to break. Feeny really is scary when he gets mad. Yes, he sounds like a very dangerous individual indeed. Maybe Phoenix? that way the judge has beef with Phoenix? <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me get this straight. You were happily listening to music on your headphones while you watched this scene unfold. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Miss Fair, I had to ask you to stop badgering the witness. Um, I wasn't happy. I was so scared that I couldn't even move. All I could do was stand there and do a uh, cheer them on. What? <laughs> Okay, cheer them on. Che cheer them on? What do you mean by that? Well, I wish the best for them both, and that they would each give the fight their all. You're crazy. <laughs> hmm, that's very sweet of you to be so supportive. What happened after that? Girl's crazy. That doesn't sound quite right. There were handprints found on the chest of the victim's leather jacket. Mr. Payne, where there were also prints found on the back of his leather jacket. Well, um, no, there, there weren't. Contradiction! <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
May I suggest that you listen a little more carefully? Ooh, what? You insulting me? Oh, fine. Fine! <laughs> I said that he crashed into him from behind, right? My thing wouldn't leave any prints behind in that case, would he? You gotta sound sassy. Ugh. You gotta sound sassy now. <laughs> Did you actually witness the moment the victim was electrocuted? I, I'm sorry. I didn't actually see it. I... I turned my eyes away. That's understandable. Yes, indeed. It would have been a horrific sight for anyone to behold. If I don't figure out the contradiction here, it's all over. She didn't have much time to come up with her lie, so this is my best chance. There must be a hole in her testimony somewhere, blah blah blah. Okay, well, I, I think it's the last statement. About the time. But it's not time exactly just yet. Right. Okay. I, I can follow. I see what you mean. Oh, but... I think... I don't know what I think. <laughs> you, you had it, dude! I, I, I don't know if I want to present- I feel like the hand is too early still. Right. It really does. Or maybe it's not too early. I don't think so, because if, it, if they're saying it all happened less than a minute, then it would have to have happened well, at 2.55, right? Oh, well, yep. That's enough witness. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> you will in a minute. Could you please take a look at this picture? Oh, that medicine. That's the one Feeny likes to take for his cold. It's not the medicine I want you to look at. It's the wristwatch. It stopped at the precise time the victim was electrocuted. In other words, 3.05 p.m. Why is this judge so stupid? <laughs> yes, and your point is, Miss Faye. My point is this. What time was it when the lab suffered that power outage due to the cable snapping? Well, according to the student's testimony, the answer is clear. It was 2.55 p.m. Ah! Beautiful scream. Would you care to explain to the court, Ms. Dahlia Hawthorne, what exactly happened during this 10-minute interval? The defense proposes that it was during this interval that the real murderer killed Mr. Doug Swallow. Order, order, oh no, <laughs> no. This is nonsense! The real murder? Even you can't deny that the time between the cable breaking and the electrocution are completely unaccounted for. Th then who was it? Who else are you saying could have done it? <laughs> There's only one person who could have murdered Mr. Swallow. Only, a only after my client had left the scene. Was there a window of opportunity for the real killer? Miss Faye. Is the defense ready to indict someone as this real killer? <laughs> it's finally time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yes, your honor. We are ready. Very well. But remember, if you accuse the wrong person, you will be penalized. Think very carefully before you speak, Miss Faye. Now then, blah blah blah. Don't press the wrong button. <laughs> it's it's Mr. Grossberg. Take it could only have been you, Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> Am I grasping at straws? Yes, you are grasping at straws. Sorry, I was I was replying to a text message. <laughs> Since I get to sit back and look pretty, oh, no. <laughs> the defense is grasping at straws. Ten minutes passed between the time the cable broke and the time of the, of the electrocution. What exactly were you doing that whole time, Mr. Hawthorne? Were you really listening to some music while cheering them both on as they fought? She's just listening to like anime fight music. Yeah. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that you didn't lift a finger to stop the men dearest to you. 
Order, order, Miss Faye. Wh what? I mean, why? That is to say, Miss Hawthorne. I believe you did witness the two men fighting on that day. However, after Mr. Wright pushed the victim and subsequently left the scene, it was you who pushed Mr. Swallow to his death by your very own hands. Look at you! You're just blowing her out of the water. <laughs> you say. <clears throat> How can you say something so mean, Madam Fay? I didn't do anything. Miss Fay, this is a very serious charge you are. Uh, Your Honor! Please! I have something I want to say! <gasps> you! you, you. What, what is it? Please! Please strike everything the defense said just now from the record! What the? Are you daft? You're totally wrong, Miss Faye! Dolly, she... She couldn't do something like that! She has butterflies around her! She's innocent, obviously! Mr. Wright, get back in your seat! Bailiff, grab that man! <laughs> <laughs> Leave my dolly alone! <laughs> That boy. Oh, he's gone no. himself and way over his head. Why would it show question marks? Fine. Oh, Mr. Mr. Oh, was he gone this whole time? I didn't realize. Yeah, he was gone this entire time because I think he went down to the right, reading room. Right, he was looking for yeah. the more article stuff. Yeah. Mr. Grossbreak, you're back. I forgot. It seems, seems I have arrived oh. just in the nick of time. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> you. I'm so sorry. You're good. I found the police report on the incidents in your newspaper clipping. Police report. Can I read it? You should. <laughs> I'm curious what it says, too. Location incident overview. Location district courthouse cafeteria. Date time August 27th, 4 p.m. Victim Diego Armando. Armando. 28. Occupant lawyer. Suspect. <laughs> Nin oh, at 19. Jeez. All right, suspect Dahlia. Armando ingested poison while interviewing the suspect regarding another case. Traces of poison were found in the victim's coffee cup. No poison was found in the vicinity or on the suspect's person. It is unclear how the poison entered the victim's coffee cup. Wait, how old is Dahlia now? Is she, like, 20? Um, she is... Or she's still... 20. Okay, so it's been, like, a year later. She's still a murderer. Mortal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is exactly what I was hoping for. You'd better take a good look at it. It, uh, details how you came to lose your boyfriend. Oh, shucks. No wonder I got beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now then, the defense has made a very serious accusation. Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, really, your honor, I... I... that is I... May I interrupt you for just a moment, Mr. Prosecutor? Ah, don't you worry, my dear. I have this situation well in hand. <laughs> uh, that is I am. Go right ahead. Madam, Madam Faye, are you seriously accusing me of killing my sweet ducky? Yes, I am. <laughs> Not only am I saying you murdered Doug Swallow, but you also tried to pin the whole thing on your current lover, Phoenix Wright. I told you that you should let me handle this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be a dainty cry. <laughs> Wiping off my tears. Uh, <laughs> sorry. P please go ahead. How how can you say that? I'm absolutely devoted to my dear Feeny. The notion that I would try to frame him is ludicrous. This is all just too much for poor little me to bear. <laughs> I'm so weak. Uh, I believe the girl is trying to ask what on earth her motive could be. Would be. Would be. Should be. Could be. <laughs> The answer to that lies somewhere in this police report. It must. Oh. 
eight months ago. An incident occurred in the basement cafeteria of this building. And then... And then that same day, the two of them accidentally meet. Your Honor. Goodness gracious, Phoenix is just there at the wrong time, wrong place, <laughs> wrong person. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. Right. The defense requests further testimony from Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. F further testimony? What about? About the events of the day when she first met the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What could that possibly have to do with this case? The witness claims that she has no reason to frame the defendant, am I correct? Well, I have evidence that suggests that she, in fact, had a very good reason. Very well then, the court grants the defense's request. Young lady, would you mind staying on for just a bit longer? Of course not, Mr. Judge. Get ready for the battle of your life, Dahlia Hawthorne. Feeny. How I met my Feeny. <laughs> Her Feeny. I first met my darling Feeny eight months ago. It's like we were destined to meet in this very courthouse's basement reading room. So, okay. The moment our eyes met, my heart skipped a beat. We've been going out ever since that fateful day. We're so lovey wovey. We literally. Oh my god, that's sick. Phoenix! <laughs> he just sticks himself in there? No way! <laughs> We're so lovey wovey. We literally make people sick. It's just jealousy, I think. Jeez. Why is he in there? <laughs> Mr. Wright, do that again. You will be held in the contempt of court. And now we enter the final act of our little drama. That's what we used to say in the days of my youth. Go get her. I I will go get her. Okay, that was a short testimony, wasn't it? Well, it's short because Beanie just shoved himself up there. <laughs> <laughs> Call him Beanie. <laughs> So, until that time, you had been dating Doug Swallow. Yes, I'm a real fool, I know. Letting my emotions change so quickly, I'm ashamed of myself. No, no, not at all. Look at me, I'm infamous for changing my mind. My critics have even taken to calling me Judge Fickle. Ho, ho, ho. Maybe you should look for a different line of work. Sorry, I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about Phoenix. How about how we're not allowed to call him Feeny? But he is a Feeny. Feeny. <laughs> this is scenario, he's Feeny. Yeah. Despite that, however, he always always hands down the correct verdict. That's why some people also call him the Great Judgini. Ew. I know. That's kind of nasty. I don't like that. Judgini. Courthouse reading room. That's a strange place to meet the love of your life. That's not true, Madame Faye. After all, Feeney was... Feeney was not only an art student, but he was also planning on becoming a lawyer. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you, Miss Hawthorne. What was a literature student like you doing in a courthouse reading room? This side of questioning is a waste of time. It has nothing to do with a murder case. Miss Faye, I'll warn you. If this has nothing to do with Mr. Swallow's case, I have to remember that Judge is on Dahlia's side. I'd better tread carefully. Uh, Keep pressing! <laughs> Your Honor, if you'll allow me some latitude, I think I can establish relevance. Please ask her to continue on with her testimony. Very well. Young lady, I've got a simple question for you. What were you doing downstairs in the courthouse reading room? If it pleases your honor, the answer is simply this. I have come to the, 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 the research. You're writing a paper. On what? On the relationship between modern century poetry and the criminal underworld. That is a very short, big stretch, but okay. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. that sounds like a fascinating research idea. Am I getting old? Now I've even forgotten what I've forgotten. 
again with the midlife crisis stuff. Mia, why did that girl really come to the- uh, Why did that girl really come to this courthouse? Isn't that what you wanted to know? And speaking of forgetting things, you haven't forgotten the police reports, have you? I went through a lot of trouble to get at Medea, so be sure to read it carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E Wait, was that not the end of the- Okay, there's still more. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, our eyes met, Trusting and everything. I had Doki. Doki Doki. <laughs> so what was it about Mr. Wright that made you- <laughs> That made your heart malfunction? What did you like... actually like about him? <laughs> malfunction, okay. <laughs> My personal opinion, he just looks like a typical snotty nose college <gasps> brat. Wow. Perhaps to a woman your age, but to me, Feeny is handsome. She's right. Oh. <laughs> How old am I? Do I have a profile for myself? <laughs> How old am I? I think you're like, what, 24? Oh, shoot, you don't have a profile. I don't have a profile. What is this nonsense? Yeah, why can't you ask about yourself? Maybe it's supposed to be up in the air. I'm pretty sure you're like, what, 24? Ish? I don't know. Ish. I'm not that old. <laughs> Perhaps to you, Miss Hawthorne, but to the rest of the dialin- uh, rest, uh, rest, so of <laughs> rest of the planet! <laughs> the half a dozen! That's so mean, Mia. Love is a mysterious thing, and I object to this line of questioning. If you were to look at my wife, for example, you might all be shocked. You have a wife? Right? Ooh. Just tell you the truth, it was truly, truly shocking. Beautiful mushroom, growing tall in the darkness. It comes from cow dung. So, That's what? the poem that best describes how I feel about my feeny. What? No, huh? It's full of shit? Yeah, right? I was like, what is that supposed to mean? There's nothing in there, it's all crap? <laughs> Were there any bad feelings between you and Mr. Swallow? No, none at all. We parted on very good terms. But that can't be. Our investigation also shows that it was a clean breakup. Oh, are you... are you sure? Yes, it seems that they both wanted it that way. So the victim wanted to break up with her. Fresh burger! <laughs> so you're saying that Mr. Swallow also wanted to break up with you? Well, well you, you see... What a I cruel. wanna be cruel. Yeah. I wanna be cruel. What a cruel thing to ask a lovely young lady like this. What's wrong with you? By the way, I have never once considered leaving my wife. What? 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 Why are you sharing that pain? That's nobody asked. No one cares. Pain. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge, for saying what we wanted to say. She didn't deny it. That must mean. Doug Swallow must have seen through her little act. He must have gotten a glimpse of her true nature. Listen to me, Mia. That woman has a judge in the palm of her hand, you see. So, the only way to discredit her is, the find, is to find a contradiction in her testimony. Okay. Alright. Um, what, what, do I, what do I got? I already forgot what I ate. <laughs> what did I read here? They don't say anything about the other case that he was interviewing her for, right? Who? What other case? I mean, well, it says Armando was interviewing the suspect regarding another case. Oh yeah, no. We have well, not heard anything about that other case. It's only this one and the current one that are related. just yet. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Oh, here. Yeah, that, that one presentable. seems like that's presentable. Objection! Objection! Miss Hawthorne, you weren't here because of your research paper, were you? Didn't you actually come here for a much more important reason? 
What is the meaning of that cocky smile on your face, Miss Faye? Eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse, there was another tragedy. Uh, another tragedy? Do you mean the incident in which an attorney was poisoned? The name of the suspect in that incident is listed here in this report. And that name is... Dahlia Hawthorne. The Dahlia Hawthorne! <laughs> what?! Yes! The sweetie pie of everyone's eye, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. She was the prime suspect in a criminal case just eight months ago. Order, order, order. Th th this is unbelievable. It's true then. The lovely, lovely. No, I didn't read the rest. <laughs> Miss Faye, that's not fair. Why'd you interrupt me, Mr. Payne? <laughs> <laughs> you can't slander my witness with unrelated. Um. Oh, everybody's interrupting each other. I, Winston Payne, will not. Mr. Prosecutor, I believe I was speaking. Uh, pardon me. Go right ahead. It's, it's true that I... Uh, the, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's true that about eight months ago, the police expressed some interest in me. Hmm, expressed some interest, huh? Mr. Judge, sir, I, I know I'm under oath, so I'll tell you the absolute truth. I did not commit the crime that occurred during that incident eight months ago. I see. Okay, I've tied the two crimes together. Now I've just got to stand the offensive. Well done, <laughs> Mia. No. Well done. Oh, you really lit a fire in my heart and my buttocks. That's kind of gross. Oh, I don't. I don't. Uh, TMI. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. Why are you saying that? I can hardly tell which is more inflamed, my spirit or my hemorrhoids. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Poisoning. I met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. I left my seat for just a moment, and that's when it happened. From what I heard, it was a liquid poison that is lethal at just two teaspoons. Oh, it's so this okay. Not only that, why is she I that specific? Was very... She's so I know. specific. <laughs> like it almost sounds like you poured that amount. <laughs> Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. So you see, I'm innocent. I, I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. The pharmacology department. <laughs> From Doug. Hmm. So that's what happened here eight months ago. However, as you've heard oh, yeah. from the witness testimony, she had nothing to do with it. I think the defense is just about out of tricks. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Payne, but I'm afraid the offense has many more tricks up, up its sleeves today, sleeve today. And I'll be sure to show them to you before the end of this cross-examination. Uh, what the? Why does the offense suddenly feel stronger? Aha, uh -huh, Mia, you're glowing with a true lawyer's aura, my dear. Not proud posture and self-confidence, absolutely smashing. 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 When I think of smashing, I just think of the the wild thornberries, the the dad. <laughs> what were you talking about with the defense attorney? Well, I I'm sorry, but that's confidential. According to the report, you were being interviewed regarding another case. The lawyer that was killed, he said he wanted to talk about an incident I was caught up when I was younger. Why don't you tell us all up what that incident was? That has absolutely nothing at all to do with this case. Objection sustained. Defense's question is stricken from the record. Yes, yeah, stick Ooh. to the script, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> you get involved in a lot of incidents, don't you, Miss Hawthorne? Well, I guess I was just born under a bad sign. Oh my god, is she an astrology girl? Cars. Don't worry, Dolly! I'll protect you! Gosh, Phoenix. You heard the man. Now that is true love, young lady. Oh, Phoenix, please. Gag. <laughs> <laughs> Two are really making me ill. I'll bait for decidedly different reasons. <laughs> Hold it. 
How long were you gone? I've already answered all those these questions for the police. But if you must know, maybe 10 or 20 minutes. And where were you where were you during that stretch of time? Using the toilet? <laughs> what are you saying, Miss Bay? Girls don't fart or poop. <laughs> toilet? My perfect little dolly doesn't poop? <laughs> Jeez. You hurt the defendant, Miss Bay. Better luck next time. Oh, Feeny, please. <laughs> the police have already looked into this whole matter. This line of questioning is nothing but a waste of court's time. Blah, 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 blah. Fine. That's so specific. How, about how much liquid is two teaspoons? Hmm. Well, let me see. My bottle of eye drops says it's one half... Uh, a half fluid ounce, which is equal to three teaspoons. So it's about two-thirds of that. <laughs> I don't like fractions. <laughs> Me too, I'm allergic to fractions. <laughs> Just give me percentages, I don't know. The, the, poison the, the poison was found in the lawyer's mug of coffee. It must have been after I left the table. Someone must have quietly slipped it in there. <laughs> A special kind of poison, how so? Well, I heard that it's almost impossible to detect. Oh, and where would something like that come from? I'm sorry. All I know is what I overheard the policeman saying. Eavesdropper! How could you? They said something about using advanced chemical processes to purify it. Chemical processes? Well, well, that's quite... Impressive? Most impressive? The better question is, how did the criminal get something like that? And that's the reason they didn't arrest you? Because no one could show how you could have gotten that poison. I think that's a good enough reason, Madam Faye. She's right. <laughs> You're so eager to be paid. <laughs> you wanna read it? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> She's right, and I think we've all had enough of Miss Faye's questions. You asked too much. Mm, I just I just wanna I wanna know the dialogue. You asked too much! <laughs> So in essence, the main reason Miss Hawthorne was never arrested for this crime was because no one could show how she could have obtained the poison. The poison. The poison for Cusco. But it wasn't for Cusco, it was for Armando. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes! Then all we have to do is find a way to establish how she could have gotten some, right? Great. Now just how did a, a literature student get a hold of poison of all things? A lit student. Can't trust them literature maters. They all want to go through their own Romeo and Juliet sort of deal. I don't know, you were dating him. <laughs> you wouldn't know how to get that kind of poison? I don't believe you. Wh what? In fact, you had easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab. B -b boyfriend? You mean the victim Doug Swallow? That's right. Up until eight months ago, Miss Hawthorne was dating Mr. Swallow. And if you'll recall, Mr. Swallow was a ph pharmacology student at Ivy University. F -f pharmacology His laboratory contained highly advanced chemistry equipment. In fact, without such equipment, the culprit could never have obtained such okay. a rare and special poison. Here's the bop. <laughs> Well, Miss Hawthorne, it seems you had access to such a poison after all. And then, it was a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. The only person who could have done that was the one sitting at his very table. You! <laughs> order, order, order! C could it be? That's nothing but a basis of May I say something, Madam Faye? <laughs> what is it, Miss Hawthorne? The, the, the amount of poison in the coffee was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you would need some kind of Why container. would you out yourself? Why would you say that? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> I was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse is turned upside down. But 
they didn't find a suspicious container anywhere, did they? She's right. They even mentioned that in the report. But, oh, well, you could have easily gotten rid of something that small. Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. If you're saying I threw the poison container away, I think you need to show some kind of proof. For proof? <laughs> you got me good with that. <laughs> Always the proof. Provide some evidence, or I'll have to disallow this line of questioning, Miss Bay. Unless we can come up with some evidence, we're going to lose this lead. The police conducted a full body search of Dolly and uh, of the entire courthouse. And yet the container holding the poison disappeared right after the crime occurred. If you're going to accuse a young lady of committing the murder, then where is the container the poison was carried in? What happened to it? I mean, it is just... <laughs> Like, why would she out herself like that? <laughs> you, you, you were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? And that's why you passed it on to someone that had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Who, who, who is this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. So the defendant was his witness's accomplice? Of course not. She gave the poison to him, disguised as... a present. What? But... but that's... Hmm, that's a charming little necklace. So Is this... a little bottle? It's really quite cute. So what about it? What does it mean, Miss Bay? <laughs> this guy has no brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> the day that the witness met and fell for Mr. Phoenix Wright was eight months ago. August 27th. The very same day as the poisoning incident. Under the pretense of love, the witness gave my client a present. All for the purpose of hiding the one piece of evidence that would give her away. Wh what? <laughs> Are you saying there's a deadly poison in here? No, there's no longer any poison in that bottle. However, I'm certain if the crime lab were to analyze it, they would find a trace amount. Well, order, order in the court. Uh, um. Phoenix. On behalf of Dolly, I object! Mr. Wright, please. I object! <laughs> Mr. Wright, control yourself! I won't let you bully her like this! You, you've been brainwashed, my boy. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat. Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? Why? B because... Because I'm madly in love with her! Hmm. Hmm. Madly in love. I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. Mr. Wright, have you ever thought about this? Why exactly would a woman like Dahlia Hawthorne want to date? Wow. Well, that's okay, so that's, wow. That's kind of harsh. Mia, <laughs> come on. Give Feedy a break. Why exactly would so a woman sweet. like <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne want to date you anyway? Oh. Well, I guess she must be madly in love with me too. Mr. Wright, please, open your eyes. At this point in the trial, I think it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is dating you is... She's madly in love with you. Yeah, yeah, just lie to him. Lie to him. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I kind of want to... I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> madly is because she has fallen madly in love with you too. That's right, Mia. See? <laughs> just like I told you! Mia, Mia, are you, you thinking think clearly? <laughs> the, the flies in the face. Oh, wait, that flies in the face of everything we've learned up to this point. I'm sorry. I don't know why I even said that. It's just impulsive. Something <laughs> just came over. What happened? <laughs> <sighs> I guess it's because I just like the sound of that phrase. Madly in love. She yearns for it. <laughs> Miss Faye. <laughs> You can't remain a starry-eyed maiden for the rest of your life, you know? Oh, don't do this to her. She's only 24. 
please let me think it over one more time, Your Honor. The real. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne was not and is not madly in love with you. The only thing she's after is that bottle necklace you love to wear around your neck. My n necklace? Back there in the waiting room, you said it yourself. Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. What a strange girl asking for a present back like that. For Dahlia Hawthorne, that necklace is irrefutable evidence of her crime. That's why she absolutely had to get it back. You're lying! But you never gave it back to her. And to make things worse for her, you insisted on showing it to everyone you met. Look at my nice necklace! <laughs> That's why she... I don't... I don't believe you. No! That's a lie! Ah! <laughs> I don't cry! He <laughs> just cries. Oh, this is better. He's getting away. Mayla, hurry after him. <laughs> God, he's running. <laughs> wow. Mia, Mia, are you alright? Uh, yes, I, I think so. Boy, he went completely insane. Where, where's Mr. Wright? It looks like the bailiff caught him, so he should be back soon enough. Thank goodness. Oh no. What is it? The bottle necklace. Miss Hawthorne's present. It's gone! What? That's terrible! Mr. Wright must have grabbed it when he slammed into me. Foolish boy. That's the only thing that could have saved him. What in the blazes are, are we supposed to do now? Now! Extend that now! <laughs> now! <laughs> Mr. Wright, this sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that your apology is not enough. Mr. Wright, what did you do with that bottle necklace? Forgive me. I, I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Just give it. Give back the necklace. You gave it to her, didn't you? I ate Wait. it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we'll just wait till you poop then. <laughs> okay, I remember when I first played this game and this came up, I'm like, Phoenix, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Cough it up right now. Somebody give him something to just, just vomit it up. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> How is he not dead? <laughs> oh, gosh. How did he eat that? That thing's huge. <laughs> you what? You, you... You ate it. It was too big to swallow. So oh, I had to wait. chew into the little bits first. But yeah. How did. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what the. What, 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 what is he doing now? <laughs> Baby, Your Honor, you've got to stop the trial. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, are you feeling okay? Does your stomach hurt? <laughs> that bottle, that bottle you swallowed may have some poison left in it. Oh God. He's still crying. <laughs> it seems the defendant has proven the prosecution's case for us. Clearly, that bottle did not contain a deadly poison. How, how can you be so sure? <laughs> I think that's obvious. As you can see, the defendant is still very much alive. Wait, he didn't ingest the same amount? What the heck is... Okay. As for the poison, more like fledging defense attorney's overactive imagination. Hmm. So it would seem. No, judge! Stop agreeing with everything! I thought the glass would kill him first, but okay. <laughs> no, there must be some mistake! 
the bottle must not have ha had any poison left in it. Either that or the po poison must have lost its potency. potency. There, there. It's alright, rookie. I want to punch you too. <laughs> <laughs> Trusting your clients is the most noble thing a defense attorney can do. And it's heartwarming to see that you have placed this much faith in Mr. Wright. Mm. But that's how it is for us on the prosecution side, too. For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. Ooh. Okay, Pay. <laughs> Which is why I can state that your assessment of her is completely wrong. That's enough. Unfortunately, Miss Faye, I cannot accept your explanation of the events. But, but why? It may be impossible for a beginner like you to understand, but in a court of law, evidence is everything. Ugh. <laughs> Even after I proved so much, is she going to get away with everything? Well, now that the su suspicion surrounding Miss Hawthorne has been cleared up, I would like to proceed with the trial. Mr. Wright? I'm sorry, Miss Fay. It totally slipped my mind. I'm really, really sorry. I know you believed in me, and I feel like I really let you down. Mr. Wright, what are you trying to say? Um, there's something I forgot to tell you. What is it? Oh, shucks. <laughs> that day. That day I met Doug Swallow? That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. We <laughs> through this the third time. Hey, it's yeah. none of your business. I'm telling you, for your sake, if you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. I can't even skip through this. You're lying. <laughs> Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Last night, someone stole some poison from our lab. Poison? Color the pee. <laughs> The same thing happened eight months ago. A drug sample was stolen. She came to the lab that time, too. It could only have been her. The, that girl is a thief. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that! Oof. Is it true? Did he really say that? That's ridiculous! There's one more thing. After I pushed him that day, I got worried and came back to have a look. And she was there. Dolly was right there. She was crouched down next to him. What? She told me to not ever tell anyone about it, but... I'm sorry, Dolly. Your Honor, this is... The defendant is... Miss Faye, you tell them! Dolly didn't do it! She's innocent! I I'm saying that she did do it! <laughs> but Dolly stole poison eight months ago, too, huh? If you put that together with Mr. Wright's testimony, then there's only one possible conclusion. The defense believes that Miss Dahlia Hawthorne stole some poison on the night before she killed Doug Swallow. The night before. Naturally, her motive for stealing it was to kill someone. Miss Faye. If you're so certain of your th theory, then let me ask you this. Do you have evidence to back it up? There's something that she does Oh, I should probably have said that. <laughs> uh... I almost pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Wait, so who is, I guess, killing now, oh, right? Current? Yeah, I would yeah. guess yeah, Mr. I would guess Phoenix. Phoenix. But it's okay, he's about to kill himself anyway. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's fine. There's one person that was standing squarely in Miss Dahlia's Hawthorne's way. And that person was Mr. Phoenix Wright. M me? That's preposterous! Have 
after all, it was Doug Swallow that was murdered. Well, it's true that that's how things worked out. But let's remember that Mr. Swallow died of electrocution, not poison. The person that Miss Hawthorne was playing to poison was in fact... You, Phoenix Wright. There's no one else that it could be. But, but how can that be? I thought Mr. Wright and Miss Hawthorne were in love. Were, were you not listening to anything, Judge? Poor Mr. Wright. This must be killing him. Hang in there. I'll bring her to justice. I swear it. As I said before, the only thing Miss Hawthorne truly cared about was the one piece of evidence linking her to that incident eight months ago. That's right, the bottle necklace. That's all she cared about. But even so, why? Why would she go so far as to murder him? Eight months ago, just after the fall of that attorney in the basement cafeteria, Dahlia Hawthorne could think of only one thing. How to get rid of the bottle necklace as quickly as possible. No, it, it can't be. It was a pretty good move she made too. The evidence was missing for a long time. But there was just one big problem. Although she got him to hide the evidence, Mr. Wright refused to return it to her. She must have thought he was so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To him, the tiny little bottle was a cherished treasure. He even showed it to everyone he met. You, you, you mean, th that's why she tried to kill Mr. Wright? Correct, Your Honor. It was to retrieve that piece of evidence. That can be true! Peeny, <laughs> <laughs> what a joke you- oh, oh, what a joke you are! <laughs> oh. The butterflies are gone. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? I even told you time and time again to keep your trap shut about me and that necklace. You disgust me! Miss Hawthorne? It appears that we're nearing the end of this trial. Fine. I can tell you plan on making me into a criminal no matter what I say. You are a criminal, Miss Hawthorne. We'll see about that. But first, where's your evidence? It seems your sniveling little crybaby of a client has eaten the bottle as a snack. Erk, well, um... Hey, old man, are you senile or something? Why don't you say something instead of sitting there with that dumb look on your face? Miss Hawthorne, what's happened to you? Oh, are you really that shocked? Or do you prefer me this way? Oh, I, I don't remember her old voice. <laughs> or do you prefer me this way, Mr. Judge? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no proof you treat a voluntary witness like she's a mass murderer. Well, I have nothing more to say. I'll be heading home now, if you don't mind. But, but we're not finished. Fine. Then ask this nasty old hag to finish up already. I can't let her get away this, get away this time. She called me an old hag. <laughs> old hag but that's how it is on the internet now if you're over 25 it's over you're an old hag <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's over for me <laughs> stop mia if you keep on pushing without any evidence you could pay the ultimate price as a lawyer the ultimate price you'd be forced to take off your attorney's badge forever i'm afraid N no she just comes back. Ooh, you're gonna get fired? Get Let me come back! <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> time, time to tempt fate. <laughs> You'd better think it over carefully, Miss Bay. Or should I say, Miss Gray? Oh, well, Miss Bay? I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Can you provide evidence that would establish your guilt once and for all? I don't have any. Oh, uh -huh. you should probably say it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, I want to tempt fate. Oh, okay. I mean, you're doing pretty good honest. so far. 
At this point, I don't have any evidence that's well founded. Even so, I'd rather lose my attorney's badge than let her get away with murder. Your honor, defense would like to present proof. Impossible! You can't possibly! Stupid woman. <laughs> Stupid woman! <laughs> It is the opinion of the court that there has already been enough discussion. Therefore, I will allow only one piece of evidence to be presented. One piece. J just one? Just one piece. If you are unable to establish her guilt, then I'm afraid that a very harsh verdict will immediately be handed down on Mr. Wright. I understand, your honor. <laughs> I can just imagine the headlines for tomorrow's newspaper up and up and coming lawyer plummets to earth before she gets a chance to soar. She was planning to poison Mr. Wright. If that's the case, then the poison was probably in there. Well then, Mr. Bay, please present your evidence. Show to this court irrefutable proof that Miss Hawthorne planted it. I I would guess. <laughs> Cold Killer X, which is still a weird name for Yeah, would you um, trust would you guys trust the brand called that? Like, cold killer X. If you had like a terrible cold and you had to buy that out of like a Walgreens or a CVS, would you would you just go, yeah, cold killer X, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. That's that. Oh, yeah. That'll totally get rid of my cold. Yeah, totally. With death. <laughs> Here it is, your honor. The evidence that will prove her guilt once and for all. Cold Killer X. Phoenix Wright's beloved cold medicine. <laughs> Does our rookie defense attorney have a bit of a cold? If I did, I still wouldn't take this cold medicine. After all, it's been poisoned. Wh what? Remember what the defendant said in his testimony. I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. She was the one who took his bottle of Cold Killer X. Then she poisoned it, knowing that Mr. Wright was going to take some. Now you're really grasping at straws. After all, it was a victim, Doug Swallow, that was holding the medicine. I would like the court to recall the crime that happened here eight months ago. Where did Miss Hawthorne hide the evidence? Huh? What are you talking about? Eight months ago, the poison was hidden in her bottle necklace. Which she then gave to someone else for safekeeping. Someone she had accidentally run into the reading room. My client, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, that's right. She did the same thing this time as well. After shoving the victim, Mr. Wright left the scene of the crime. That is when the murderer, Dahlia Hawthorne, appeared. With her, she was carrying the poison bottle of Cold Killer X. This, of course, was so she could carry out her plan to murster, murder Mr. Wright. Hmm. I believe she did testify that she was going to meet with the defendant. Yes, and she heard and saw everything that happened at the scene of the crime including what the defendant and the victim were arguing about and the cut electrical cable. That's when she realized, I can't allow Doug Swallow to live. She used a severed electrical cable to silence him forever. She got her hands dirty. <laughs> Quite seriously, yeah. Unfortunately for her, this is when the problem occurred. Mr. Wright, who she thought had left the scene, came back to check on the victim. And on top of that, because of the power outage, some st students showed up as well. It's hardly any wonder that she was, as she put it, in a state of panic. Recall that she was carrying that bottle of poisoned cold medicine. She must have thought, what if they searched me like they did eight months ago? Eight months ago? Yes, she disposed of the evidence exactly the same way she did back then. She had someone else hold it. In this case, Doug Swallow. Why is her fingerprints all on it, then? I guess they just... That is weird. Mm. She was wearing gloves at the time. <laughs> yeah, she, she just happened to be wearing gloves. Dainty white gloves. 
Oh, come on now, everyone. Surely you aren't fooled, are you? This stupid woman. She's nothing but a filthy, stinking liar. Liar. Right, Mr. Prosecutor. Huh? Yes, that's exactly right. It's just pure desperation. Attention! Hmm, I wonder which one of us is the desperate one. So, Miss Hawthorne. This cold medicine. I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking some. <laughs> no, it's a bold. Right. Offers it to her. Well, Mr. Wright ate that necklace of yours, right? Now it's your turn to prove your innocence. What do you say? If I'm just a filthy, stinking liar, then there's no need to worry. So come on, show us. I dare you to take some of this medicine right now. <laughs> Me on fire! Me on fire! Do you think you've won? Well, do you, Mia Fei? Yes, I, I do think I've won. <laughs> That's just fine. For the time being, victory is yours. For the time being. Well, I have a very long memory, you know. You and I will meet again. I'm certain of it. Next time I'll dropkick you. Well then, Mr. Judge, I'll see you later too, okay? Huh? Er, why, um, y y yes I'm going to spend a little quality time with the men in blue now. I wish you all the best. Can I get at least one good punch? <laughs> Phew. It's finally all over. I, I refuse to accept this! The defense hasn't shown a scrap of evidence to support their outrageous claim. You want to take some medicine? <laughs> this is how he loses his hair. But but even so, your witness seems to have accepted it. I don't care. I'm Winston Payne, and I don't believe one word that this rookie lawyer has said. Well then, Mr. Payne, let me ask you this: You want some medicine? Y yes. <laughs> Would you care to try this cold medicine? <laughs> I actually asked. What? <laughs> Just a little earlier, I could have sworn you said... There, there. It's alright, rookie. For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. Oof, he did say that. He did say <laughs> that. Why would you say that, Payne? So, if she's so trustworthy, then I'm sure there couldn't possibly be any poison in here, right? Uh, well, um, you see, uh, yes. And here comes the backpedal. Come on now, rookie killer. Show this rookie how it's done. How much trust do you really have for this woman? Are you willing to bet your life? <laughs> Dramatic skill. Ah, my hair is flying off my beautiful hair! No! 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 <laughs> well, there you go. That's how he lost his hair. <laughs> nice. Um, Mr. Payne, about Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Y yes, Your Honor. I'll file papers for her immediate arrest. Okay. You look much better now, Mr. Payne. <laughs> Wiz is happy too. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> mm, tragic, but not surprising. I knew there was something suspicious about her from the very beginning. For the yeah, sure, sure, judge, whatever. Don't lie. Just admit you're wrong. By the way, Miss Faye. Yes, Your Honor. Was it just me, or did and did you and Miss Dahlia Hawthorne seem to know each other? He just noticed. Oh my God. He's so dull. <laughs> Your Honor. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> <laughs> did or not has no bearing on this case. Hmm. Very well. Er, Mr. Payne? This can't be happening. It's a nightmare! It's like losing to my daughter! It appears Mr. Payne has lost his spear along with his hair. <laughs> Does the defendant have anything further to say? It, it can't be true. My dear... Dolly! <laughs> hmm, 
Oh, very well then. <laughs> I believe I am ready to pass judgment and bring this trial to an end. The court finds the defendant Phoenix Wright not guilty! Confetti! <laughs> Who's throwing the confetti? Because in, in present time, Gumshoe is throwing the confetti. <laughs> <laughs> A, a younger gumshoe in the, younger in the crowd. Gumshoe, yeah. <laughs> this court is un adjourned. April 11th, 3, 16 p.m. Dang, that was like a four, four hours. <laughs> Mia, you were wonderful in there. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Mr. Grossberg. During the verdict, I thought my hemorrhoids were going to explode like Mount Vesuvius. TMI. TMI, sir. Um, Mr. Grossberg, do you, um, maybe think you could stop talking about them? <laughs> That's rather rude. Anyway, this case really made me think. What does it really mean to have a relationship of mutual trust with the client? Perhaps it was we veteran lawyers who have lost sight of this. Oh, Mr. Wright, congratulations. He hates Congratulations it. on losing your girlfriend! <laughs> yeah, and literally causing the breakup between them. Thanks. Um, you know, I, I was thinking... Go on. The dolly that I saw up there on the witness stand? I, I don't think that was really her. Um, what? Yeah, the dolly I know could never have said those kind of terrible things. Maybe, maybe she was like, I don't know, a fake or something? Yeah, twin. <laughs> Boy, this poor kid still hasn't a, got a clue. You need to forget about her, Mr. Wright, for your own sake. Yeah, you're right. That's probably for the best. Also, you need to relax a bit more. Try to grow up a little. But, out of all my friends, everyone says I'm the most grown up. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, I mean, he saw Larry Butts, right? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of company does this guy keep? Right now, I, I'm i studying to become a lawyer myself. That's what you keep saying. But I thought you were in, in the art department. Well, yeah, I am. But there's a friend that I desperately want to help. And if I hurry, then I should be able to save him time. I see. Say, Miss Faye? A lawyer is someone who can help when people when they're in trouble, right? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, I'm still new at this myself. But I think that's exactly what a lawyer is. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'll study my butt off. I'll become a lawyer for sure. I hope... I hope we see each other again someday. Maybe in court. And then you see my dead body. It's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad knowing what becomes of him. Okay, you could be Phoenix in this game. Ah, oh, hold on, I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> you could be Phoenix now. <laughs> I just wanted to be but baby Phoenix. Dead. You know, <laughs> since I've been Phoenix on all the other streams, now it's your turn to be Phoenix. <laughs> it's been five years since I was acquitted of all charges. I became a lawyer like I planned and managed to save my friend. But Mia has passed on to a better place. Debatable, but... <laughs> I mean, she still kind of exists in a weird way. For me, this trial brings up a lot of painful memories. But it also brings up some very precious ones. And memories that I thought would never rise to the surface again. Mia's gone now. But even so, I can hear her in my mind. Well, now you gotta be Mia. <laughs> Okay. Phoenix, no matter what, always believe in your client. In a court of law, your greatest weapon is your belief. Unless they're guilty. Unless then, they're guilty. Uh, <laughs> then, which we learned in the last case of the last game. <laughs> Five long years. Something has happened that's made me think back to her words of wisdom. But that is a story for another day. Yay! Yay! Episode one done! Yay! Yay! Oh man, here he is. The the boy. The man. 
No, Mia hasn't passed on. She's still around because you guys, you guys keep calling her. Yeah, she can't even sleep. She's literally just, just hanging around and all of a sudden gets called back. Ooh, did you still want to continue? Are you okay? Oh, shocks. <laughs> I didn't know it would immediately continue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even clicking anything. Oh. Well, I guess you could see. Oh, jeez. Detective, we made it. Phew. What a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. Gumshoe. Oh. <laughs> you said it, pal. Must have been a rock solid. No, wait. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Dang, that was I, fast. I, I can even keep track of that. <laughs> it, it, I got all the numbers. What are you talking about? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Mask. Ah, uh, we've mask. been had. Out front, guards, turn on the searchlights. <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen. He oh, flies. Shoot, he's flying. <laughs> Excuse me, but afraid I must be leaving now. He's actually flying. He act. Yeah. He's legit we shall flying. again when the next moon is full. Ah ha 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 you did it. Yay, you got to meet Baby Phoenix. And Baby Phoenix. Beanie. Oh, Feeny. Well, that was fun. Yay. Nice. Nice. Okay. We well, did episode one. Yeah. Yeah, episode one. And then we'll do episode two. And then three. Completely episode. Okay. And then four. <laughs> Complete the episode of one sitting? You're crazy. <laughs> That's well, hard. Uh, Shouldn't. Because, I mean, at least this one doesn't have the investigation part. It just threw, a threw us right into the trial, right? But... And I was gonna have... I think... A lot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the investigations are kind of a lot, so... It'll... Especially if we're just lost all the time. <laughs> always having to backtrack. I think that's the only thing about these games that's kind of rough. Having to backtrack a lot. Um, yep through all the different screens. Luckily, I mean, it doesn't take long to load. It's just having to go through each uh, option just to get where you need to be. And then again, I I always forget to present the profiles. That is like something I, I that that that's what stopped me in the previous game, not not presenting the profiles. I use keywords who or what. Yeah. 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 Like who do you think did this then? It's what profile. do you think this is related to? Right. So that was good. Yay! Yay! Donut, you did it! I did it, but it was just tutorial stuff. <laughs> I know, it was mostly tutorial. But I mean the, actually the background is important. The, yes. This is this is I important. have a feeling I wanna see that Dahlia again. <laughs> oh Dahlia, what do you think of her? I wanna punch her still. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love her. She's good. She's so scary. When both me and my sister, we, we play her case at night. We played her case in like the dead of night. And when she starts like flipping, especially, you know, when she starts actually showing her face, that's when, mm -hmm. that's when we get scared of her. <laughs> yeah, it's like the people of size. I was like, geez, what the heck? It's like, she, uh, she don't look right. <laughs> not right. She's not right. She is demonic, honestly. Super demonic. Actually evil. Um, I still laugh at the fact that Phoenix also just eats the glass necklace. <laughs> Jeez. And then he even describes it too. He's like, it was kind of big, so I just, I, I just chewed on it. I'm like, just Phoenix, like, you're insane. Your gums. <laughs> you should have already been dead by the time that the first game happens. <laughs> How did you not go in for surgery to take that stuff out? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, well, let me know whenever you can do it next week. It's gonna be my same day, so... Next week is holiday, so it'll probably be another Wednesday. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay. Another yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, I might be out 
next weekend. Okay. Around the holiday. But I should be free on Wednesday. Cool. Then I hopefully you're not dead that day. <laughs> I probably will be, but I'll still wake up. I'm so excited to get through this game. This is all I wanted. <laughs> And then but, whatever, but next week, whatever do I'm done, whatever I'm done with this one, then I... Oh. Did you ever play the Apollo Justice series? No. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I might drag you for Apollo Justice too. <laughs> oh man, oh, that's such a good game. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. thank you guys for watching and hanging out. We're, we're gonna end it here. Yeah. I don't know, do you have anything to share? Everybody, please follow Donuts and Dragons. Follow me. She, I'm not screaming anything. <laughs> she is my my partner in crime for this one because I want her to experience Dahlia, the Dahlia experience. But then also, <laughs> also probably like one of the best soundtracks on in in the Ace Attorney series is coming up. It's good. It's like the guy could keep talking, but I just want to listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's it. I have nothing else to share. Okay, well. Thank Yay. you guys. Thank you, Donut, for joining me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're just gonna end it. Bye. Bye. Bye.